So today is officially a non-productive, lazy, lazy as day. <laughs> I'm just gonna be in bed, probably just watching Netflix. So the reason I'm pretty tired is yesterday I actually got back from this pretty sick event with BMW. They took us to this place in the UK called uh, Soho Farmhouse. It was sick, it was for this GQ event. I had a lot of work to do while I was there, so it wasn't this like, as much as this, the shots that I'm about to show you soon are gonna look really cool, it was it was a lot of work. So I'm gonna have my lazy day just chilling in bed watching Netflix. And instead of showing you that, I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes of kind of what it was like up there. <sighs> the only thing missing from this was pastry, but it is what it is. tonight team i'm going to the gq dinner and the dress code is like semi-casual smart i think that's how it said it like semi-casual smart uh, smart casual and i thought i'd show you kind of what i'm thinking of wearing for that so to start with obviously it has to be my on plus a trousers you will know i'm a massive fan of these i think they can just be dressed up and dressed down so easily so tonight i'm deciding to go all black i feel comfortable in it i think it always works and again if you spill anything you're kind of good this is the eye legacy shirt and as you can see it has that sheer effect which means it's also very lightweight and breathable for the footwear today i'm going with my greedy boots these are the pl2s and i absolutely love them and i love the front zip on them and again just for the jewelry we have the tom woodring and the blue burnham and then to finish it all off i'm just going to go with the matcha 26 from the labo and that's gonna to be tonight's outfit. All I gotta do now is kinda of just my hair and then we'll be ready to go. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I forget dinner parties are like. GQ event was like it was pretty hectic for myself and quite a bit of work I was kind of like paid to be there to do some work and stuff you can go watch my reel if you haven't um but yeah I'm done kind of watching Netflix now I need something refreshing so I'm gonna have a lemon water
So I thought while I wait for this to set, I guess, well at least get all the flavours out of it, I'd show you a, uh, a recent pickup of mine that is quite, I guess, is the word hypocritical? Hip was I a hypocrite? I don't know. I mentioned that I was pretty much getting rid of all my sneakers, which I am. I now only have, including what I'm about to show you, one other pair I'm pretty sure. And yeah, long story short, I picked up the Adidas in collaboration with Wales Bonner sneakers, mainly because they look so sick. I love the colorway. I think what it is with sneakers is I personally like thinner sneakers, narrower sneakers, opposed to like, like for example, the New Balance 550s. I think they were just too chunky for me, even though they're not like chunky sneakers, but I just think these are sick. I've been wearing them quite a bit already, so that's how I personally know it was a smart, very smart purchase. So I am still done with sneakers, but if you see me in sneakers, it'll pretty much only be these. So I'm gonna show you a little what they look like on foot now. So typically I do like to build my whole outfit with you lot, but I'm actually running super late, so I've got it all on now, so I'm just gonna break it down. Oh, and where I'm actually going is actually quite cool. We've been invited to a film premiere of The Grey Man featuring Ryan Gosling, someone else and someone else to put it on stream. Captain America and the Bond, the new Bond girl. They do have names, I've just forgotten them. There's no obligation to go into this, by the way. I've just been invited, so me and my girlfriend thought it'd be cool to have a nice little dinner and date night. But let's break down the outfit. So this is a full outfit that I've decided to go for. Now, I get it's probably not typically what most people would think to wear when going to a premiere. And again, let me bring up what actually they said the dress code was. They said it was dress code. Smart, sharp, daring, and dressy. Now, I've, I've kind of just focused on the daring part um, and not so much the others because today is actually like the hottest day in London. It's currently 39 degrees outside and for London that is insanely hot and to be out at a premiere, I'm not gonna be wearing a suit. I'm not gonna be wearing even a shirt. I just want to be comfortable. I've decided to go all black to help smarten up a little bit. So I've got my black sample vest on, teamed up with the Pangaea cargos, which I absolutely love. I think the silhouette of this is so sick. And then to again, just help smarten up a little bit, I've got the tabby loafers on foot. And then for my glasses, I have these ones from Lexola. And again, it's something that I personally feel comfortable in and that's kind of what's the most important thing to me. Wear what you are comfortable in. You don't have to follow the status quo. Yes, follow the rules to some extent, but again, at the end of the day, you want to be comfortable. You want to be you and I think that's the most important thing.
something